Royal Rife was an extraordinary mind, a brilliant man who uh, no, uh, virtually nobody's ever heard of before and will never hear unless somebody like myself brings it out and, and brings it to the public. Royal Rife discovered that, and I'm just going from my understanding of his work. He was far too brilliant for me to follow. But uh, basically, what Royal Rife discovered is that all diseases, period, vibrate, have some kind of a vibrational frequency to all diseases. And so I'm just giving you the Reader's Digest version that I don't understand the science at all, but I got the point. And that is that all uh, diseases vibrate, all things which are living. And so he found a way to find out different uh, diseases and what those germs, of, uh, you know, their vibrational frequencies that these germs had. And then he, uh, from there, developed a telescope, a microscope so that you could zoom in on these uh, uh, disease germs and understand their life of these germs, how, uh, how the frequencies worked in these germs, and then developed a, um, a machine that would uh, electrically short out and blow out the fuses on these, disease, um, on these diseases so that you could kill the disease electrically. And, uh, and it worked. And not only did it work, but it worked so well that uh, even in the L.A. Times, they had articles about the man who has, dis uh, who has put an end to all diseases. That was in the papers in, in America uh, at one time, New York and the Los Angeles papers, the man who, who put an end to all diseases, Royal Rife. And uh, in his microscope, everybody was amazed at what this man had done and how he was able to kill diseases in just a matter of, of a sh very short time. Within a day or so, you could uh, you know, go through this machine and, and find out what disease you had, and then he could kill the thing electrically, and it's gone forever. And so uh, Royal Rife was a master at what he did, and a brilliant man, and nobody's ever heard his name. And uh, soon after it hit the papers that Royal Rife had made this incredible discovery on how to kill every disease in the world, immediately all the AMA, the medical establishment, they were not prepared for that. They didn't realize that there was going to be all this stuff in the papers about Royal Rife. So when it came out about what Royal Rife had done, and how well how that puts the whole medical profession out of out of business immediately across the board. I mean, you don't need a doctor, you don't need medicine, you don't need medicine or a doctor or a hospital for God's sake. What do you need a doctor for? What do you need medicine for? If if every disease on the earth can be killed electrically, then why in the world would you need a, a doctor or a hospital or anything else? Just go to Royal Wife's uh, machine and hook it up and. He'll find out what disease you have and bang and, and send the electrical current through you and kills that disease and it's over. Move on. So immediately the American Medical Association and the doctors' associations across America went into high gear on steroids to make sure nobody hears about Royal Rife. And they called him every name in the book, charged him with everything you can imagine, and got rid of him so nobody will ever hear from Royal Rife again. So much for America, land of the free and home of the brave. We, we've, we have been lied to and deceived and treated like, like cattle so that we don't even know the great minds that have been born and came into the world to help the human family and to help us, the humans on this earth, to progress. We have been arrested. We are operating right now in America and around the world under something called arrested development. We can't think. We can't talk. We can't do much of anything. We don't know anything. Most of us can't read, and the handful that can uh, are reading, as I said, the sports page and the, and the comics. Uh, so people have been dumbed down, and they have been lied to, tricked, and deceived and it's about time we finally wake up to the Royal Rifes and the Nikolai Teslers 
um, and the um, uh, Paul Levilets and the Stanton Friedmans and some of the great minds that have helped the human family that today the universities and the science community have no idea who they are and couldn't care less. So I'm just saying to the world, you have better wake up and understand that the scientific community in this world is awash with stupidity, ignorance, and um, and basically they know what to kiss and when. They went to university, got a degree, and because you got a degree, that degree is a work permit that allows you to go out and get a job. But if you were born brilliant, I mean, just, just came into the world with an extraordinary mind, then you're going nowhere. You're going nowhere because no university can claim what you did as their own. Uh, no scientific organization, American Medical Association, can't, uh, can't claim that you were one of them and that they, uh, uh, you know, they were the ones who found this new uh, idea, this new concept. And so if you're not connected to some university, university or college or some government agency, then you are not going to be heard at all, period. That's America, the land of the free and home of the brave. We don't talk about anybody who is doing anything of any intrinsic value for the human race. If you're doing anything to help your fellow man in America, you will go to jail. Ultimately, you will go to jail. If you're doing anything to help your fellow man, you will be fined. You will go to jail. And if you've really done something, you know, really fantastic to help the human family, you might get bumped off. They might whack you because that's what happens to truly great people in the world. 